Headless Blasi. <laughs> After much ocean swimming this summer, I was given the opportunity to swim with the Salmon Run for the first time in my life. creature who inhabits both fresh and salt water, we were mesmerized. Come with us from Campbell River to one of the clearest ocean dive spots I've seen here all summer. Hi and welcome if you're new here. My name is Flussie. I'm a photographer, amateur freediver with a passion for the ocean, and a queer card slinger. And I currently live in this 1977 GMC van. I'm a maker and an adventurer at heart, led by an insatiable curiosity to learn more about the mysteries of the unknown. And to prove to myself, if they can do it, I can do it too. Thanks for joining me, and I'd really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below so you don't miss an episode. I hope you enjoy the vlogs, build projects, and explorations of the oceans, lakes, and forests just as much as I enjoyed making them. And I look forward to sharing more adventures with you here. Led by a guide willing to haul in all our swimming gear, we headed up the trail first to a canyon where the river slowed. And the crystal clear water was over 60 feet deep. Flossie, aren't you ready yet? <laughs> oh! Headless Blasi. <laughs> she wants to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the work's over. Now you can uh, take it off. <laughs> <laughs> no!
fresh, cold river is not only the home of the salmon, it's also habitat to lots of large, freshwater crayfish. I managed to pick up both this dead one and a live one that promptly tried to bite my finger. stop was a little further down the river, just before a small weir. A shallower, stronger current where the salmon amassed before they made their jumps up the next few rapids. We had been waiting in great anticipation to be in the river, surrounded by masses of fish. I think in this anticipation we forgot that fish are not blind, and we look like large dark moving creatures in the water similar to a number of other predators that come to feed on the salmon. As we floated down the river, we did indeed see lots of fish, which on a moving camera is a little hard to capture. And after a little while, they must have moved down, waiting till we had left to move on with their journey up the river. There was a giant. Leading up to this trip, I had expected my footage to look like this. Beautiful shots of salmon swimming lazily in front of a camera. But this is definitely being filmed stationary, and not by a person tumbled rapidly downstream. Some of the fish we saw were really large, and even some were showing early signs of disintegration, starting to complete the cycle of nature that they were fighting their way upstream to do. The detail was a little impossible to film while moving so fast. And the large fish I saw was probably actually not the size of a tuna. But you can hear how totally excited I was about it.
I guess that means that you'll just have to come back next episode. Normally the ocean is murky in summer, so I can't wait to show you one of the clearest ocean diving spots we found this summer. Come back next episode to see that. I hope you enjoyed coming on this journey with us. Please subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Can't wait to see you next episode.